A neurodevelopmental assessment reveals a profile of mental abilities, including strengths and weaknesses. Attention, memory, and language are examples of mental abilities. Determining how well such abilities are operating requires looking at several types of information. Background info includes medical and developmental history, such as early language and motor milestones. Another aspect of background is what's happening currently with academic work. An academic battery consists of many subtests to appraise, components of reading, writing, and math. IQ, or intelligence tests, are batteries of numerous subtests, each of which assesses certain mental abilities like applied reasoning and long-term memory. An intelligence test yields an IQ score, which is an index of overall mental ability. But subtest scores are more useful for neurodevelopmental assessments, since the goal is to reveal profiles of abilities. Neurodevelopmental tests tend to be more targeted in what abilities they gauge, such as spatial ordering, focus, or impulse control. Finally, qualitative findings are picked up throughout the assessment process. A lot can be learned beyond whether the student answers correctly. For instance, how did she arrive at her answer? What strategies did she use? How much effort did it take? Qualitative findings provide insights that test scores often miss. All of this information is critical for revealing strengths and weaknesses.